In this video, we will be assembling the pole of a lifetime portable basketball system. Your system may look different than the model shown, but the steps performed will still apply. Locate the hole in the bottom of the top pole and line it up with the slot at the top of the middle pole and slide them together. Insert a screw and a countersink washer into the hole and slot as shown. The screw will spin freely once it is installed. Now repeat the same process to attach the bottom pole to the pole assembly. Attach the pole bracket to the middle pole by inserting the bolts through the washers and into the smaller set of holes on the pole. Slide the long metal spacers over the bolt through the larger set of holes on the other side. Secure the pole bracket. Then seat the poles together by forcefully striking the bottom of the pole assembly on a piece of wood or thick cardboard five to six times. Flip the pole assembly over and give the top end five or six good strikes as well. Please note, this step cannot be reversed, so make sure the pole is oriented correctly before seating the poles together. In this video, we will be assembling the pole to the base of a lifetime portable basketball system. Your system may look different than the model shown, but the steps performed will still apply. Attach the flattened end of a pole brace to the base. Leave it finger tight for now. Repeat this for the remaining pole brace. Make sure the exposed ends of the pole braces are parallel to each other as shown. Insert the long axle into position through the holes at the bottom of the pole assembly, with the shorter axle inserted in the next set of holes. Slide the wheels on the long axle and add a washer at each end. Next, position the large axle under the slot on the underside of the base. Make sure the pole bracket is facing up. Then step firmly on the base to snap the axle into place. Rotate the pole upright, snapping the small axle into place. Then secure the pole to the pole braces. Now tighten the rest of the hardware. In this instructional video, we will be assembling the backboard and rim of a lifetime basketball system. Your system may look different than the model shown, but the steps performed will still apply. Slide the U-bolt through the backboard brackets. Secure the backboard brackets with the spacers and hardware shown. The U-bolt should rest in the notches on the brackets. Secure two tap bolts, washers, and rubber washers through the bottom holes in the back of the rim as shown. Make sure the bolts are positioned on the outside edge of the holes. Be careful not to over tighten. The rubber washers must not bulge in the center. Next, Line up the backboard brackets with the mounting plate on the back of the backboard. 
Bring the rim and the plastic guard together and line them up with the plate on the front of the backboard. Place steel spacers on the exposed ends of the bolts between the backboard brackets and the backboard. Then secure the two bolts using the hardware provided. On the front of the backboard, thread the jam nuts onto the U-bolt as far as they will go. Then slide the compression springs onto the U-bolt and secure them with the spring retainer plate and the hardware provided. Make sure not to completely tighten the hardware here as the flange nuts are used to adjust the rim tension. Slide a carriage bolt into the crimped slot in both backboard channels, then bend the backboard brackets by hand. Gently lift the end of each bracket up onto the carriage bolts and fasten them securely. In this instructional video, we will be assembling the backboard to the pole of a lifetime basketball system. Your system may look different than the model shown, but the steps performed will still apply. Attach the short extension arms to the backboard brackets. Make sure you have the extension arms oriented correctly before securing the hardware. Please note the center lock nuts will require some effort to turn. Make sure they are tightened until they are flush with the end of the bolts. Next, attach the long extension arms to the backboard brackets. Again, check the orientation of the extension arms to ensure the correct end is facing the backboard. Once the extension arms are secured, have one adult hold the pole assembly steady and line up the top of the pole with the backboard. Secure each of the extension arms to the pole with the hardware provided. In this instructional video, we will be assembling the height adjustment handle of a lifetime basketball system. Your system may look different than the models shown, but the steps performed will still apply. 
Attach the lock tab to the trigger. Make sure the inner channel has been removed from the outer tube, then align the right handle grip with the outer tube as shown. Add the spring to the trigger, then place the trigger in position on the right handle grip. Secure the handle grips to the handle assembly. Now add the left handle grip to the assembly and secure it with the hardware provided. Secure the provided bolt through the hole in the outer tube shown here. Be careful not to over tighten the hardware. Press the trigger and slide the inner channel into the outer tube until the trigger clicks into the first slot. Then secure the inner channel to the pole bracket. Next. Secure the top of the outer tube to the long extension arms. Tighten the nut until it is flush with the end of the bolt. Secure a bolt through the holes in the short extension arms that are closest to the pole. Then, using the handle, raise the backboard to the highest position. Use the close end of a wrench to the stretch the counterbalance springs up and over the bolt between the short extension arms. 